Well, hello and welcome to this short exercise on indices. And it says factorize completely x to the power 6 minus 64. The emphasis is on the word completely. Okay. Now, there are two ways of doing this, and I'm going to do the first method, and then perhaps you can try the second method yourself. I'm going to give you a hint at the end. Now, copying this down, we've got that x to the power 6 minus 64. We can express x to the power 6 as s cubed all squared. So we then have s cubed all squared minus 8 squared, because 8 squared is 64. And this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, if you remember. Now, that being the case, we're going to have a minus b to a plus b. So you've got uh, s cubed minus 8 into s cubed plus 8. Now, if we then look carefully, we can express uh, this here as s cubed minus 2 cubed. And this as s cubed plus 2 cubed. So we then have s cubed minus 2 cubed. That's expanding a cubic um, uh, relationship in this case with only two terms. We got um, x minus 2 into x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. And for this one here, uh, when we expand that, we're going to have x plus 2 into x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared. If we then uh, combine both, we're going to have x minus 2 to x plus 2x plus 2 squared, which is this one here, times this one here, and we get uh, x plus 2 to x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared. And when we tidy up a bit, we're going to have something like uh, x minus 2 to x plus 2 into x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared. Now, we can actually uh, do the same problem by saying that x to the power 6 minus 64 is the same as s squared s squared to the power 3 minus 4 cubed because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 and that's similar to a cubed minus b cubed and if you have a look in here we can do use the same principle to do that and then carry on from there I hope all that made some sense please subscribe and I'll see you again sometime Bye-bye.